So here is adaptive cruise control in the wife's Chevy Traverse in stop and go traffic. Cruise control is set for 35. Seems to activate only at uh, 15 miles an hour and above. So as traffic was slowing down, I got behind this uh, GMC Acadia, uh, got to a comfortable matched speed behind it. Still doing about 25, 35 or so, and I hit set, and I let the uh, I let the adaptive cruise slow the rest of the way down. It's basically like an auto brake, and um, it's matching the speed on this Acadia just just fine. It's set to the maximum or minimum following distance, and we're coming up to a pretty congested area here, so we should get an example of what it does when it comes to a complete stop and I tell you the pucker factor is pretty high when you first try this out it really is but it's about a bit of hole in the seat with my butt but you know it, it'll get on the brakes it's not afraid to come to a stop that's for sure you just gotta learning to trust it is a whole nother deal so we're back down to about 12 miles an hour or so and the distance that it's keeping here is is really good. It's it's pretty much the distance that I that I use in traffic. I don't follow people real closely like this guy in the blue van up ahead on the left is doing. Um, although he's not tailgating necessarily, but you know he's backed off now. He must have hurt us. But anyway, uh, there's nothing wrong with this. The distance is. Still probably enough some, you know, Budinsky, predatory, aggressive driver might stick his fender in there and try to squeeze in, but, you know, that's why you got to stay alert. Yep. And this, this is awesome. I mean, my feet sometimes just hurt. My foot hurts from going back and forth to the gas and the brake. I do this for about an hour and a half each way, three hours a day. So this is uh, this is pretty damn schnarky. So here we are. This is where traffic's really going to start coming to a nice thick crawl, and she's getting on the brakes, slowing down. Eight seven. What's kind of funny is if you go on the Chevy website and look at the features and specs and all that of the vehicles, this is not a feature that they actually list. So, it, you know, Ford does. Uh, Kia does, Subaru with their eyesight system, they definitely tout it. And they've got, you know, videos and examples on that on YouTube on how it works, yada yada. Not Chevy. Okay, here we go. Just about a stop. Oh, one mile an hour. Not enough to make it come to a stop. So it's still, it's still maintaining position. It's got to come to a complete stop at which point... It will not automatically go again. All you got to do, though, is give the gas pedal just a little, just a little nudge, just a little tappy tap tap with your foot, and it's off again. It's pretty easy, pretty snarky. Keep going. Just about, just about, oh. But this is awesome because I don't have to do a damn thing. Maybe, maybe it's a little too awesome, you know? People could start, you know, doing things that would distract them, like playing with their phone, looking at YouTube, maybe making a video that they put on YouTube about how this works. That would not be a good thing. So don't do what I'm doing. 
And there's my phone. God dang it. My other phone. Well, we're going to cut this short.